Hey guys, this is my new uh, vertical takeoff Osprey tilt rotor type plane. Um, as you know, the other one, it um, it flew, but it um, was a bit inefficient. It could only fly for about three and a half minutes on a 3S3000 pack, and the battery got really hot. So um, I've redesigned it with some lighter weight materials, and I've decided to test whether it's possible to use one servo on each wing for the tilting mechanism. I've had loads of people ask me if that's possible and to be honest so far I've said it isn't. Um, mainly because you have to get these motors as high as possible and the battery as low as possible to make it stable. But um, what I've done is added some dihedral to the wing the distance is as far as it can get without it looking ridiculous. So uh, I'm going to try it out. I'm running the KK 2.5 board with a uh, open aero VTOL uh, beta 45 or something like that. I'm not sure entirely. I've only just set it up now. Uh, so yeah, let's take it for a maiden flight. If you're wondering why I haven't actually put any videos up here of this, um, I've actually been very impatient and I built this in about two or three days. I haven't had time to put any videos together of it yet. Um, I've posted some pictures on RC Group's build thread. I'll post a link in the description. Um, but yeah, I guess nothing else to do but test flight. If this works, then I've just proven myself wrong of what I said in the past. Let's hope it does. Not that I like being wrong, because I don't. I mean, wait, yeah, yeah, I hate being wrong. But I'd like this to work. Anyway, let's go. Wait. So forwards, backwards. Left rudder, right rudder, throttle. Why is this not working? It's one of my motor wires come loose. Oh, poo. Not again, that happened last time. Alright, I'll go get some um, smaller motors that I have from my old hexcopter. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've got some uh, temporary motors on, just smaller ones. Hopefully with the lighter weight they should be fine. Gonna order some better quality motors because these Turnergy ones are a bit rubbish. The wires always are uh, really brittle and they just snap. That's what happened on the other one. One wire snapped and it just jitters. So let's try these uh, smaller motors and see if it will fly. Yes! Oh, it needs a lot of trim. That's working a lot better than I thought, actually. Needs a lot of uh, trimming out, but apart from that, I think that's better than the previous one by miles, actually. Uh, that's me just trying to trim it out. Bring it down for a landing. I know I shouldn't really trim it out on the radio. Ah, fly just bit me. I'll trim out on the radio just temporarily. I can always set up another time. I'm just running out of daylight. Alright, so trimming it out whilst flying it. It's very dodgy. Because every time I try and trim it out, I have to take my hands off the stick. That's why it's looking unstable at the moment. Hang on. Sorry, that was that was completely me. Oh god. Look at that, cut the grass all over the wing. I'll tell you what though, this is a lot more stable than I expected. Considering it's physically less stable.
That's pretty damn good. It's so hard to trim out whilst flying this thing because it's just going all over the place. Do you know what? I know how many people have asked me. Tom, why, why, do you, why do you have two tilt servos? And I told him, I thought that was the only way that was possible. But guess what, I'm wrong. And I'm glad I'm wrong, because this is a way better setup. Way simpler. And with the newer firmware, it works actually quite a bit better. Let's try uh, just some forward smooth flying. We I haven't got a rear elevator on yet, so I can't do proper forwards flight. I'll have to be when I get proper motors, I guess. Well, these motors might do. Have to see how hot these motors get. Uh, let's see how much power it has. You ready? Oh, tilts to the side a lot. <laughs> Look at that shot with the sun. Oh, right, I say, fly out into the field. I can tell it needs some gains tuning because the uh, servos are wobbling a little bit. But default settings, it's not bad. Because it's so much lighter, I'm not really sure how long I can fly this for. And without a rear stabiliser or elevator, it's going to want to pitch up all the time. Because obviously there's no lift in the back. If you ever tried to throw a foam glider without any rear elevator, it doesn't go too well. It normally just pulls up and stalls. I mean, that's still in hover mode, but I'm pushing down on the front forward elevator quite a lot. I mean, look, I'll show if I can get this. That's hands off. Still needs a bit of trimming to the side aileron. Hang on. Hold it in the hover. You see that? Still needs trimming out, but it does everything I tell it to. I can't believe this. How well this is flying right now. This could almost be a quadcopter at the moment. I mean, a very badly tuned quadcopter, but it's almost that stable. I mean, look, if I pull back, push for, oh, oh, no, maybe not. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> what happened there? What have I broken? Ah, oh, poo. I always end up breaking something, don't I? Oh, wait, it's not too bad. Actually, uh, that's quite a good example. I'll show you how I've built this thing. Um, basically, I built this so that... Um, actually, let's just check the tilt servers still work. Hopefully I haven't stripped any gears. Right, so I'll show you how I've built this now that I've snapped it off. It's kind of a breakaway thing I designed. Um, this plate here is bolted to the aluminium rod. Don't know where you can see that on the GoPro. Underneath here is just some double sticky tape just to stop it from sliding. And this literally slides into place like that. And these cable ties, which are designed to snap off, hold the servo from falling down or backwards, which is where none of the force is actually exerted. All the force is either up or forwards. 
so it's got so push against the plate or the aluminium rod and the uh, servos are there just to hold it in a uh, place so yeah two more cable ties and that'll be all up and running again apart from obviously the motors it's gonna fall off it's gonna fall off there we go see one thing I didn't think about is if the motors get too high it conducts into the servo and then the servo gets hot oh well um, <clears throat> what I might do is um, order some sunny sky motors need to sort that wobble out as well order some sunny sky motors maybe slightly higher KV higher quality ones um, and then put a rear elevator on it a rudder and we'll be flying well thank you guys for watching please subscribe for more uh, horizontal flying tests and experimental aircraft this could be a good FPV platform if it um, proves reliable so yeah please subscribe for more videos and goodbye